Warning, the following audio is only aimed for beings who are in need for scares and a frightful storytelling. There will be a few disturbing content and unsettling imagery in this video you are about to watch and or listen. If you feel uncomfortable or this isn't your cup of tea, you may click off immediately. However, to the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies Plop in your headphones. If optional, turn off the lights and enjoy this audio. SuicideMouse.avi So do any of you remember those Mickey Mouse cartoons from the 1930s? The ones that were just put out on DVD a few years ago? Well, I heard there was one that was unreleased to even the most avid classic Disney fans. According to sources, it's nothing special. It's just a continuous loop like the Flintstones of Mickey walking past six buildings that goes on for two or three minutes before fading out. Unlike the cutesy tunes put in though, the song on this cartoon was not a song at all, just a constant banging on a piano for a minute and a half before going to white noise for the remainder of the film. It wasn't the jolly old Mickey we've come to love either. Mickey wasn't dancing, not even smiling, just kind of walking as if you and I were walking, with a normal facial expression. But for some reason, his head tilted side to side as he kept this dismal look. Up until a year or two ago, everyone believed that after it cut to black, and that was it. When Leonard Moulton was reviewing the cartoon to be put in the complete series, he decided it was too junk to be put on the DVD, but wanted to have a digital copy due to the fact that it was a creation of Walt. When he had a digitalized version up on this computer to look at the file, he noticed something. The cartoon was actually nine minutes and four seconds long. This is what my source emailed to me in full. He is a personal assistant of one of the higher exclusives at Disney, an acquaintance of Mr. Moulton himself. After it cuts to black, it stayed like that until the sixth minute before going back to Mickey walking. The sound was different this time. It was a murmur. It wasn't a language, but more like a gurgled cry. As the noise got more indesquishable and loud over the next minute, the picture began to get weird. The sidewalk started to go in directions that seems impossible based on the physics of Mickey walking, and the dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. On the seventh minute, the murmur turned into a blood-curdling scream, the kind of scream painful to hear, and the picture was getting more obscure colors were happening that shouldn't have been possible at that time. Mickey's face began to fall apart. His eyes rolled on the bottom of his chin like two marbles in a fishbowl, and his curled smile was pointing upward on the left side of his face. The buildings became rumble floating in midair, and the sidewalk was still impossibly navigating in warped directions, a few seeming inconceivable with what we as humans know about direction. Mr. Moulton got disturbed and left the room. Sending an employee to finish the video and take notes of everything happening up until the last second, and afterward, immediately store the disc of the cartoon into the vault. This distorted screaming lasted until eight minutes and a few seconds in, and then it abruptly cut into Mickey Mouse's face at the credits of the end of every video with what sounded like a broken music box playing in the background. This happened for about 30 seconds, and whatever was in that remaining 30 seconds, I haven't been able to get a silver of information about. From a security guard working under me who was making rounds outside of that room, I was told that after the last frame, the employees stumbled out of the room with pale skin saying, Real suffering is not known. Seven times before speedily taking the guard's pistol and offing himself on the spot. 
The thing I could get out of Leonard Milton was that the last frame was a piece of Russian text that roughly said, The sights of hell bring its viewers back in. As far as I know, no one else has seen it. But there has been a dozen of attempts at getting the file on rabbit shared by employees inside the studios, all of whom have been promptly terminated of their jobs. Whether it got online or not is up for debate, but if rumor serves me right, it's online somewhere under suicidemouse.avi. If you ever find a copy of this film, I want you to never view it, and to contact me by phone immediately, regardless of the time. When a Disney death is covered up as well as this, it means this has to be something huge. Get back to me. TR. I've yet to find a copy of this. But it is out there. I know it.